Hello mates, I want to welcome you to the first day of August, International Pirate Month. Brought to you by the Mighty Rogues Armada. My name is Captain Jack... the... Uh, Smith? Smithy, if you like. And I'm here to tell you today about this month-long adventure you're about to set sail on. International Pirate Month is a yearly observation in which pirate crews from all over the world, and believe me, there's thousands of them, get together for a change to do something nice. We don't have many opportunities to do something nice, so we're taking the month of August to do it. And as for why it's called August to begin with, seems very obvious. Pirate terms. Ask any child anywhere in the world, what does a pirate say? Pirate says ah, right? Problem is, pirates didn't say ah. At least not as, a, not as a requisite. I mean, some of them might have said it, but it was not pirate vernacular. It was all due to an actor by the name of Robert Newton. Him. Robert Newton was born in Dorset in England in June of 1905, started acting at the age of 16, and during the course of his career was in 53 movies and television shows. Now, he had a very illustrious career. I mean, he was in Henry V, he was in Oliver Twist, he was in Around the World in 80 Days, he was in Les Miserables, however you say that. But what he was best known for was his role as famous pirate Long John Silver in the movie Treasure Island. Treasure Island came out in 1950, it was followed up by a movie called Blackbeard, which he played the title character of Blackbeard, in 1952. 1954 he went on to star in the sequel to Treasure Island, which was called Return to Treasure Island or just Long John Silver. And even after that, there was a television series that ran for two years in its initial run called The Adventures of Long John Silver. And that show ran in syndication until the mid-1980s, somewhere. And it was during that time that people began to think that pirates would say ah, because Robert Newton said ah. That was not a pirate term, it was an exaggeration of his natural Dorset West Country accent. A lot of people in that part of England don't pronounce their A's. They don't say apple, they say apple for whatever reason. If you listen to the movie, it isn't just him saying R for no reason. He tags it onto words. Jim Hawkins, he calls Jim Harkins. I mean, there's a whole slew of... Th Here, look. Good evening to we all. Ah. <laughs> Hark, wait a reunion. And the gentleman from the cask and anchor. It warms this whole art, it does, to meet up with you all again. I mean, that says it, right there in a nutshell. That's pretty much what it all is. In Treasure Island, he said the sound R in some variation 11 times. In Return to Treasure Island, he said it 32 times. In Blackbeard, and I may have the number wrong, he said R 147,000 times. If you've not seen Blackbeard, Watch it. Oops. But my number may be wrong, but I'm not far off. Here, here's another sound. Your name be Edwina Mansfield. Ah, a fiery wench, eh? Hey? Ah, you must be Mistress Albina. Ah, I got lots of letters. Ah, there's a man what's seen him. Your name's Maynard, eh? Robert Maynard. That's what I said, didn't I? Get it out! Uh, arr, this is a sore bolt. Swallow! Arr, the old gulper down! That's his jugular beating. Right <laughs> there. And that's where your knife be in it. Arr, Mistress Albina. I got this back together again! Arr, 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 and I brought it across the isthmus of Panama. He was a hard living man. Um, as a matter of fact, people like actor Oliver Reed and drummer Keith Moon both identified Newton as the man who was sort of the template for their way of living. And you know how those worked out. Robert Newton died at the age of 50 in 1956. His show Long John Silver only started in 1956. All of the principal filming was done, but it ran one year past his death. He died in California, but his family had him cremated and returned his remains to England 
Well, they scattered them into the ocean, near where he went to school as a child. It's a proper pirate burial for a proper pirate. Amen. So we hope you enjoy International Pirate Month this August, but keep in mind the man who made it all possible for us, Robert Guy Newton. If you've not seen his movies, go find them. They are worth seeing. Whilst you're here, help us do a good deed, won't you? Go to the description of this video. It might be up here or down there, depends on what you're looking for. Find the link that brings you to Feeding America. We have a page set up. Any donations appreciated, 100% of the proceeds go to Feeding America to help families struggling to find food. Every dollar can help feed up to 10 different families. Don't ask me how they do it, but that's what it is. How can you pass it up? Do something good, help us out, and I hope you enjoy August. Nope, can't say R. Ah. I don't do it well. Robert, help me out. That's how it's done. See you tomorrow.